Hi, my name is Patricia Stepp with Your Dream Power, and I am so glad you decided to join me on this journey. This is going to be several series of videos that will help enhance your life, and if you really pay attention to them, you're going to get so much out of these. So they all relate to the article that you will see, and the article was about our dreams and desires, and how so often what we do is we want something, or we want to achieve a goal, and so we decide on that, and we set out to do that, and then, you know, roadblocks gets in the way, or something detrimental happens, that we start to doubt ourselves, or we let that inner voice say to us things like, well, who do you think you are that you can have that? Well, you don't have the ability to achieve that. Well, why would you think you could have such and such? And we allow our limiting beliefs to interfere with what we really want. And so we pack up that dream or that goal, we stuff it in a box, and stick it on a shelf. And then maybe a year or two later, we decide on another dream or goal that we'd like. And so we start moving towards it a little bit, and then something happens, and we decide, oh, it's not for us. Pack it up, stick it on a shelf. And we do this so many times. Things that we want, we decide, well, they're not for us. And then we justify it. We rationalize it. And we decide why it is we can't have something. And little by little, we quit dreaming or setting goals because we never believe that we can achieve them. So after a while, you just kind of give up. Well, I want to show you why that's happening to you and how you can change that so you can take those packages off that shelf and you can dust them off and you can clean them up and you can go after what you really want. Instead of settling, like 95% of the people do, instead of settling for what you think you can have, go after for what you really want. You know, I highlighted this in, in the um, article that you read, but Wallace D. Waddles says, Every man has the natural and inherent power to think what he wants to think, but it requires far more effort to do so than it does to think thoughts which are suggested by appearance. You see, when, when you can actually see something and it's there in front of you, that's easy to accept. That's easy to see. But he goes on to say, to think according to appearance is easy. To think truth regardless of appearance is laborious and requires the expenditure of more power than any other work man is called upon to perform. You see, if you want to change your circumstance, if you want to change where you are and move forward to what you really want, you're going to have to change your thinking. And you're going to have to change the way you think about that idea. Let me just tell you a really quick story. Um, I was a, an educator for years, and I decided when I could retire that I wanted to do something else. I didn't want to just stop. You know, to me, stopping is, what would I do? So I decided to become a trainer because I knew I would be good at it. And so I thought of this company I wanted to work with, and I, you know, kept seeing that. So every day I'd go in to teach children I was thinking of this training company and I pretended I was training them. I saw myself as a trainer and working with adults, working with business people, working with, um, you know, the groups of adults instead of children. And I just kept seeing that over and over. And what that did was it finally made me make an audition tape and send to this training company. And I actually sent to three companies. Now, the first one, within, I don't know, 24, 48 hours, they said, Oops, sorry, we're not interested in you. And I thought, oh, that's too bad. And so then another company, maybe a couple weeks later, they um, sent back that they weren't hiring anybody at that point, but to submit my videotape again in six months, that they would probably have some openings. So the third company, which is the one I really wanted to work for, um, I didn't hear from them and months went by, but every day I kept thinking I was a trainer. I kept seeing myself as a trainer. And one day out of the blue, I get this phone call and it was from their, um, I don't know what you call the person who hires their trainers. 
and she talked to me and she told me what she liked about my video and she asked me to come and train for them and eventually I started training with them and worked for them for a year for that great experience of being a trainer and you know it was because I kept thinking about it and I kept seeing myself working for that company you see the other two I just sent my video to this is the one I really wanted to work with because to me they were the top and so that's what you have to do. You have to keep that thought. You see, there was no appearance. I was not a trainer. I didn't have any really connections to become a trainer, but I kept seeing myself as a trainer. So he goes on to say, there is no labor from which most people shrink as they do from that of sustained and consecutive thought. It is the hardest work in the world. You see, I didn't think that thought once. I thought it over and over and over again. This is especially true when truth is contrary to appearances. Every appearance in the visible world tends to produce a corresponding form in the mind which observes it, and this can only be prevented by holding the thought of the truth. You see, the truth in my mind was I was a trainer. Now, this all goes back to your thinking and how to achieve. You know, th these are not secrets. Some people call these secrets. These have been around for ages. The secrets of the ages. I think there's a book called that. And they're not really secrets, but so few people take the time to learn and then do that they seem like they're secrets. And I want to share with you what Wallace D. Wallace, this is like his thesis on how to have the success that you really want. He says, there is a thinking stuff from which all things are made, and which in its original state permeates, penetrates, and fills the interspaces of the universe. A thought in that substance produces a thing that is imaged by the thought. Man can form things in his thought, and by impressing his thought upon the formless substance, can cause a thing he thinks about to be created. And there's a secret. There it is. Now, here's the kicker. Most people can't do this sustained without a coach explaining it to them and sharing it with them and encourage them and showing them the different steps. Anybody can do it, but most people will not put the persistence forward. You see, I didn't even realize what I was doing when I kept thinking of being a trainer. And that's what a lot of us do. We don't realize that we're actually following what successful people always do. So now it's your opportunity to learn more. Keep watching these videos that I send out. And you know what? At some point, you and I need to talk. Because I want to help you to achieve whatever it is that you want so you can take those boxes off your shelf dust them off, and create the life that you really want and the life that you're excited to have. So until next time, this is Patricia Stapler with Your Dream Power. Make it a wonderful day.